Hello, my name is Richard Smith, and I'm from Cheshire, Connecticut. My father is Frank Elbert Smith. He was from Middletown, Connecticut, and his father was Frank R. Smith. The original intent was to prove the family tree that Great Aunt Ruth and Aunt Ruthie made for the family. The family tree left off at Captain Ichabod Smith, Line, Connecticut, 1732-1798. Captain Ichabod Smith's family plot is in Duck River Cemetery in Old Lyon, Connecticut. In the middle you'll find most of his family, Sarah, Nathaniel, and so on. However, I found the family tree goes back further to John Smith of Lancaster, or Sudbury, and his wife, Mary. Between 10,000 to 20,000 people would come to America between 1630 and 1640. I searched the passenger list in Nova Vale. I assume John and family came on a later ship. By the time John, Mary, Richard, Alice, and John Jr. reached the colonies, most of the prime areas were taken by prominent families. The main settlements were full and they were granted two plots of land in Sudbury. It was a rough life. The farming is barely self-sustaining, and I'm not sure what brought the Smiths here from England. We're guessing that John Smith was born in 1600 and died in Lancaster, Massachusetts, 16 July, 1669. He was married to Mary, and we don't know what her last name was, and we're assuming she was born around 1600. But she did die in Lancaster, 27 December, 1659. James' family were not the ones to come to America in the planter, as many people have stated, nor did he have a first wife named Alice. They resided in Sudbury, Mass. prior to 1647 marriage of their two sons. John Smith took the oath of fidelity there after 9 July 1645. He was delinquent in paying his highway rate 5 January 1651 and 52. And shortly before 1653, we see that John Smith moved from Sudbury by the following entry in the town records. Old Goodman Smith was released by the town from all that he owed for highway work levied upon him in the time he lived in Sudbury. John subscribed to the Lancaster Rules 15 one month, 1653, and received a 20-acre lot. His estate was worth a, a modest amount and when the meadow lots were laid out in 54 he received lot number 24. He was a townsman in 1654 and received lot number 19 in the second division in 1659. On October 31, October 1660, less than a year after his wife's death, John deeded 20 acres in Lancaster to his son-in-law John Moore as a marriage portion for his daughter. On 18 March 1663, John sold his dwelling house and land in Lancaster, where he had lately lived, to Adam Walters. On 12 April 1665, he deeded his remaining Lancaster lands to John Moore for the care and kindness he had received from him, saying, Now in my old age I am old and infirm, I'm not able to improve the land, nor to maintain myself by my labors, nor to pay public charges for my land. John Smith wrote his will about four years before his death. These presents testify and declare unto all Christian people that I, John Smith of Lancaster, in the county of Middlesex in New England, planter, being sick and weak in body, but of good and perfect memory, by this my last will and testament, commit and commend my soul to Almighty God. That gave in in my body to the common burial place in the lad for said Lancaster, and it's for those lands and goods the North the Lord hath in his mercy entrusted me with. It is my desire that my debts, if any be, shall be paid out of them, and the charge of my sickness and burial that my son John Smith shall have an old black cow that hath some white upon its rump. And it is, it is of my mind will that my daughter Anne Moore shall have a red pied cow, and I give to my son Richard Smith 
two shillings to be paid him if he demanded, and ten shillings to my daughter Anne, Alice, and furthermore I wish that also empowered my beloved son-in-law, John Moore, my sole executor, to see this my last will and testament truly and faithfully performed, and to whom I freely give the overplus of my goods, if any be. Witness my hand this twelfth of the second month, 1665, John Smith. Witnesses are Jacob Ferrer, Daniel Young, and Ralph Hoyton.